This hadith is addressing the young people, not the old people, 70 years old. He's talking about people 25, uh, 20 years, and uh, 30 years, 45, that area. Prophet said, oh, you young men, if you're able to get married, please marry. They asked, why Rasulullah? He said, because that will help you to lower your gaze. All right. Marriage is helping us to lower the gaze. Because if you are out of marriage, you are uphill looking for <laughs> all the horizons. Because you are at the top looking, who's there, who's passing. <laughs> Professor Lassula said, okay, go downhill and choose one and lower your gaze. That will help you. Because raising the gaze will give you like different choices. You're going to make like a back and forth. Today this, today that, today this. No, just marry. Get married and then settle. If not, you're going to be in a ter ter terrible situation. And the Kaw Sunnati Fawan Rabiban Sunnati Falaisamini, the Prophet said, that marriage is my way of life. And if any one of you move away from marital system, he is not part of me. What about that, my brothers? <laughs> we have to make the intention of getting married, not just to remain bachelor forever. They're like bachelor for 50 years, bachelor, 50 years, 53 years, 60 years. No, that's not what. We need to form the families. Because the shaitanic system is struggling to destroy family by homosexuality, gays, and all these kind of things. It's just to destroy the family. Husband and wife must observe the cardinal purpose of their union. There's a cardinal purpose of the union, which ibadatullah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Marriage is ibadah. See it as ibadah. There are a lot of enjoyment in marriage, but it's ibadah in the first place. They must learn how to help each other. You have to learn that because it's not easy to come to the marriage and understand the person from the very beginning. That is not easy. This is impossible. Because somebody raised her and somebody raised you. You have different attitudes. Now, for you to come together, you have to learn how to help each other. Yes, you have to learn that. You have to learn how to tolerate each other. Without tolerance, no marriage. You have to learn how to love Allah in yourself. How to love Allah in you. Yes. You have to learn how to love Allah in your children. You have to learn how to overcome your difficulties. When difficulties happen in the marriage, they have to establish mashura, discuss and open dialogue, say, what are you going to do about this? But not just come with your ego starting saying, I'm the man. <laughs> no. Your masculinity cannot work in that, that particular sense. You are masculine. Big. All right? But she is feminine. Feminine is softness. And masculine is a strong thing. So you have to balance it. Then talk and try to understand each other. Marriage is righteousness, kindness, consideration, good manners, generosity. If you get married, you have to give money. You have to be generous. Sisters, they're going to ask you whatever you have in your pocket. You have to give it to them. You have that in mind. And just come to the man and say, I love her, ma. Here, ma, give me the joy. I'm going to marry this sister. Ma, give me $30,000. I'm going to marry. Help me, ma. Okay, ma, going to help you to marry. But as soon as you bring Fatima in the house, ma is not there to help you. Fatima going to get up early morning. The first thing is said, how you got? I have $50. Give me all $50. <laughs> Fatima going to tell you that. It's not 50-50. $50. Give me all the money. <laughs> okay, you give the money. You want to sit down. Sit down for what? Get out and go to work. <laughs> they say, okay. Then you go to work. You come home. <laughs> you think that they, she gonna you know, cook the whole chicken for you? No. The chicken is 50-50. <laughs> you are there to bring the money. Every day, whatever in your pocket is going home. The next day you are empty. That's why like, you like a bird. You come home. The stomach is full. The next day, empty stomach and go back. And try to get the weeds and whatever you can pick and bring it home. So this is the situation, it's generosity. Marriage is generosity. 
Marriage is generosity, yes. Marriage is hospitality. Even you are giving, but don't count. Don't count how much you give, Fatima. Because sometimes people, they love, you know, writing things behind the wall <laughs> or behind the closet. Have their secret paper. Okay, I give him fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, eleven, fifteen, fifty dollars. Eleven, twenty-five, fifty dollars. Eleven, twenty-six, fifty dollars. Then at the end of the month, let me total how much she got. This is too much. <laughs> you're gonna be greedy. You're gonna cut your hand. You're gonna you, you're gonna be out of help. Don't count how much you are giving every day. Don't ever do that. If you do that, you're gonna be very stingy. You're gonna give everything. That's why is hospitality. You give, but don't count it. Yes, marriage is hospitality. It's dignity with respect. Don't allow yourself to jump on your head too. No. You have to address the issues properly. If something happened in the house, you have to table it. Let's table this and finish it. I am not holding anything, but I have to table it. It's dignity. We have to respect the family. It's not me, it's not you, but the entire home. We have to respect everybody. Marriage is honor. You have to honor the person. Marriage is self-respect. Yes. Don't ever think that when you get married, you can dress as you know as you want. No. Oh, you know, I have body pants, you know, I do what they your wife don't want that. Uh, what? It's me to it's just me to make my body pants and you know, limping. No, your man, you, your woman, your, your, your wife said you have to walk straight. You have to walk straight. You have to have a proper dress now. No bachelor hood here. Bachelor hood is over. Because when you are a bachelor, you don't care. You even spend the night outside living with your, you know, belly pet. No, no, you don't, you don't care. She don't want that. She don't want you to go to the, you know, to the, to the, to the uh, Islamic conference look like that. No. She wants you to dress good, then she will she will feel happy. But not just see daddy, you know, dressed away. The, the sister, you know, the children they will ask, Daddy, what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing wrong with daddy. Daddy just wants to dress the way daddy wants to dress. <laughs> no. Self-respect. Modesty. There's, if there's no modesty, there's no marriage. There's no family without modesty. <clears throat> Chastity. There's no marriage without chastity. Yes. Courage. Don't give up. You have to help and give courage to your wife. Then patience. Oh, there is no marriage without patience. Yes. Marriage is an important social institution which perfects the human personality. If you want to perfect human personality, get into the marriage. Prophet ﷺ said, if you are out of marriage, you are half person. Then marriage is perfects the human personality. For the individual as well as the society. Yes, human society. He said marriage secures happiness with prosperity for the individual as well as the society. Like if you get marriage, now you take responsibility. If something happened to the area, you have to be responsible. You see, bachelors, it's difficult for bachelors to stand to check what's happening in the neighborhood. If somebody attacked the neighborhood, fathers and mothers stand because of children. But bachelors, they say, oh, what's up there? <laughs> and they take their car and go. Because they don't care. But you see, the mothers and the fathers, they stand and say, let's call police. Why this? Because they have babies. That's why bachelors <laughs> have to be careful. But just not taking care of nothing. Yes. As soon as the problem is there, oh, let's get out here and go to Philadelphia or some Connecticut somewhere. They don't care. No, we have to be careful. The unity of humanity is not only in, the, in its origin. Be careful about that. It's not just being human is enough. But also in its ultimate aims and objectives. The final goal of humanity is Allah. From him we came, and him, and for him we live life. We came from Allah, and just for him we live life. And to him we shall all of us return one day. In fact, the purpose of creation, as described by 